How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today we're on the third mission of the Call to Arms mini campaign in Stronghold Crusader HD called Antioch the Counter Siege. Antioch was a strong and difficult city to attack. Fortunately the Crusaders had a spy on the inside. He arranged for one section of the wall to be unguarded, allowing the Crusaders to stream in through St. George's Gate and take the city. A huge Turkish army is on its way, so quickly garrison the city walls and man its towers. All food and trade routes are cut off. Make the most of limited supplies. It will take a lot of faith to hold Antioch. Let's get started. So we only have this little patch of the oasis right here. It can fit four or five farms on it if you're careful about their placement. So I'm going to try to get as many of these that I can on this area. At the moment, it's looking like four. Yeah. Okay, that will be fine. Well, let's get some woodcutters up and going here. So, I don't want to put too many up because my population is limited a little bit. So, six should do it. And I also think there are some woodcutters up here. Are there? No. That was the previous mission that I'm recollecting. So, we also need some weapons workshops and I'm going to be going with the archers because by and large swordsmen are just not that useful in this one you could you could build swordsmen I wouldn't personally recommend it because they're just very slow well let's face it they're very slow units so they have a very specific sort of application that you can use them for and by and large, defending a castle like this is they're not going to be coming in very useful. Like they're, if I was attacking somebody with them, I'd build swordsmen. Uh, if I was defending my keep, perhaps I might build swordsmen, but defending castle walls like this, no thank you. In terms of the castle that we have available here, it's fairly weak and we can't build additional walls or anything like that. So we want to make sure that we prevent as much damage to the actual structures as possible. And pretty pretty understandable. It's nice to see some sort of limitations placed on it. Like this one, the designed idea behind it was that uh, there, your food stocks were limited and that was something you'd have to deal with. Now, personally, I think that they could have done much better if they just had no food at all, right? There would be a challenge for you, but I understand this is one of the earlier missions, campaign missions, when you're still, hopefully the player is still learning the game, so it sort of makes sense to start them off with something a bit easier. I've mentioned this before that this mission, the missions in Stronghold Crusader, are only available on one difficulty. Okay, we have some attacks coming on here, going on here. Um, they're coming from that direction. What direction would that be? North? North, probably. Well, let's see if I can get my units over there before his archers get there. Like, I have a pretty decent run here. I have to run a ways before my units get to that part of the wall. Uh, so, accidentally rotated the camera. I usually don't do that in Stronghold. Let's get some of those units into the tower instead of standing on the walls. Uh, you get up in the tower as well. Better range bonus. There is the potential that the gatehouse will close and then that will mean that I can no longer access my apple farms, which will cease production of that. How many swordsmen are there? Just two swordsmen. Not a problem. Those are Arabian swordsmen, so they are especially susceptible to crossbow bolts compared to European swordsmen. But in terms of like archer armor, it's pretty much kind of comparable. I'm going to have them all target one. If we can do that, please. Let's get some of these other archers over to this wall. Most likely they're going to go after my farms. They're going to try to destroy my apple farms before actually trying to assault the castle walls, which makes me wonder if this invasion was set up as a pillage uh, attack instead of um, like, an, like a proper invasion. Because usually they'll go for the keep, but in this one they're actually going for the apple farm. Oh, they both got killed. Excellent. Yeah, so I'm not, uh, not planning on building any swordsmen in this mission. 
archers should be sufficient, and they cost a lot less. And we we do have these spearmen, and if we have to deal with something, if we have to dispatch or like intercept a swordsman, we can always do it that way. We have a lot of wood, so let's go ahead and build a couple more Fletchers here. That should be plenty. 416 gold left. Unfortunately, I don't I don't think we have any peasants left. No. So maybe we could delete a couple of these woodcutters' huts. May, uh, if you like free up a couple of peasants so I can recruit them. So we are currently at pretty good popularity. Like minus four from food, but that's being balanced out with religion. I'm getting plus six from religion because I have relatively low pop, 16 of 16 peasants, and this chapel is able to cover that many peasants quite easily, quite efficiently. I think we can build more religion. Yeah, we can we can build chapels, but those are not obviously as good as cathedrals, for example, but they cost a lot less gold. Like they cost one fourth the amount, 25% of the gold that a cathedral would. Cathedrals have the plus two popularity bonus by default though, so even if you're not going for like popularity from religion, or you're not intent on keeping your blessings of the peasants fairly high because what are they called yeah it's called total blessed people if you're not intent on keeping those the total number of blessed people high you can still use a cathedral because there is just a default plus two popularity bonus for placing the cathedral in the stronghold crusader now this bonus does not stack which means you're not going to get additional bonuses if you build additional cathedrals so pretty much caps out at plus one cathedral for that two popularity bonus. And you can do the same thing with the church. The church actually gives you a plus one. It can come in handy, but more, you know, odd popularity numbers are not quite as common as say, for example, even numbered, like the taxes go up by two, for example. Granary rations go up by four. What are you gonna do? It, it, most, you know, the odd popularity bonus is odd. <laughs> Believe it or not, the odd numbered popularity bonuses are odd. Rare, maybe rare would be a better term to describe that. So we're just uh, just stocking up here, archers. Let's go ahead and speed it up to 90. These trees around this oasis still have not been fully chopped down. And even though I have a stockpile full of wood, 143 anyway, I'm still not going to turn them off until they've actually removed all of those trees. Uh, we might want to turn up taxes a little bit here, down to 248. There we go. We can accommodate that. 103 rations, no, 103 units of food, 79 months. We can just turn that up to normal, I think. There we go, more taxes. I'm not exactly sure I'm going to be needing to build that many additional archers, but better to have gold than not. We can't build a market in this one, so I'm limited to producing all of my own wares. Can't go ahead and buy food, you know. It's an important distinction to make. Should I actually be zooming this map out? I don't know at this point. I prefer being zoomed in a little bit closer. Like, getting to see the economy working up close and personal is uh, more enjoyable to me. I know some people will focus especially on, for example, the combat in Stronghold Crusader. I've always been a bigger fan of the economy, just building up a castle and then strengthening its defenses to hold out against the waves that my enemies can throw against it has always been vastly more appealing to me than managing Total War style groups of troops and stuff that rhymes like that. Okay, where are we looking at? Okay, the west, northwest, it looks like they're coming from. Let's get our archers to that wall. I am still moving my archers and stuff around here a bit. Because I personally believe in the idea that if you kill them with overwhelming firepower, you'll sustain fewer casualties to your own team. So, if that means I have to micromanage my archers a bit more, so be it. Those slingers, I have no idea what they were running over there to do. We got um, 
Look, it looks like five swordsmen this time. Yes, indeed. You archers. Okay, the, the, the archers are shooting at them now, so they're doing their job. I'm happy with that. I'm content with it. This is rather interesting. Are they actually going to start... Are they going for the wall? They actually might be going for the wall there. No. Apparently, they're just walking in a straight line. Because they were starting to turn to the south a bit. And I'm suspecting they were probably going after my farms. Looks like we're losing our... We're losing a bit of popularity there. I know some people really play it close with the popularity. Like, they'll run it down right to 60 or 55 or so. Before turning, say, for example, taxes down. I... I have a problem where I don't pay enough attention to that number. And then you get into sort of a negative feedback loop if, you're, if your popularity drops into the negative and your peasants start leaving. So playing it safe, especially in a mission like this. Like, is there any reason that you have to be doing that? Nah, it's fine. It's a relatively easy mission. You would say, why would you play an easy mission? Why? For completion, and because I want to. At the, at the end of the day, it really, that should be a justification in and of itself. It should be a sufficient justification. How much time do we have left? Looks like there is one more battle, and then we'll be finished. In this map, we could have actually used the iron mine to produce uh, iron right up here. And then use that to produce swordsmen. But. Oh, as a matter of fact, I think all of our trees are down here. So destroy all of those. And maybe we can fit another apple farm in there like that. Oh, we can fit two apple farms in here. Yeah, so a total of six apple farms I managed to be able to place on this little bit of oasis there. Which should be capable of sustaining our current rations quite easily. As a matter of fact, I'm going to want to turn that up. Probably won't need the gold, but like I said before, better safe than sorry. Down to 291. We are playing at 90 speed, so moving this along as quickly as possible. But it does take time. It takes time. Another four archers. In Stronghold Legends, you can just set the barracks up to... Um, like recruit mass amounts of troops with one click. So instead of clicking four times to recruit four units, I could lock it at four. And then anytime I clicked the recruitment button for the archers, it would automatically recruit four of them with one click. Quite economical. Overall, Strong with Legends, I think, sort of marked the like, Firefly's willingness to go ahead and introduce some more quality of life improvements to the economy aspects of the game, especially micro, like very tedious micromanagement aspects, such as selling uh, resources. Like nobody wants to be in the middle of a siege and hear your stockpile is full, and then you have to, you know, hit the stockpile key to sell everything. In the original Stronghold, when you would press the key that the hot key for the market, I don't even remember what it was because it, it would automatically center you in the market. It would take you right out of the battle and center you on the market again. I've never been a huge proponent of hot keys in games. Some people seem to really like them. I've just never gotten the hang of it, which is probably why my uh, skill in this area, in the area of real-time strategy games, lags behind that of others who have, who do a lot of what I do. How close are we? Final battle, coming right up. Yeah, let's, let's get this over with as quickly as possible. This is not a hard mission at all. This is not, this is a very, very easy mission. If it was, if there was a harder difficulty, I would play it. I beat Stronghold uh, HD on the hardest difficulty. And uh, this baffles me why Firefly did not decide to go ahead and, you know, have a difficulty setting for the, the campaign missions in Stronghold Crusader. Not exactly sure 
why they thought that wasn't important. Ooh, they're attacking from the west. So let's get all these archers we have here on top of my gatehouse to run over there as quickly as possible and defend the northern wall or the northeastern wall. Whatever your perspective is on that. Stop running and start shooting, guys. We have a lot of uh, a lot of slingers. A lot of slingers there. Most of them are just running at and I'm I'm shooting at them. So they're dying before they get nary a shot off. That's quite a few Arabian swordsmen right there. That's quite a few. Let's get some of these archers off the western walls, pull them over here so they can actually shoot. Open up that gatehouse, friend. And let's get those uh, spearmen out. A lot of bows in the, the armory. Wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, so they want to destroy my apple farms, which means, hey, that's five wood. Great prioritization, guys. It's not like I can afford to rebuild them a hundred times over, is it? <laughs> so that's victory for the third mission in Stronghold Crusader. Thank you very much for watching as always, and I hope to see you next time.